coming up on today's show. Wait a minute. If I'm going to write another book, it really has to be something different. It ha- I don't want people to buy this book and throw it in the pile. Like if you're doing a project, like project management, you, you want to have those uh, major areas, right? I mean, it's, it's part of the subdivision process. Reduce, release, and reset. And, okay. and I packed them all together because we're often doing this all sort of at the same point in the project. Sort and succeed today on Keeping You Organized. Hello, welcome to Keeping You Organized. Today, we are going to succeed at something, and it's not just sorting, but Sort and Succeed is the name of a, a newer book by Darla DeMauro uh, from heartworkorg.com. Darla, welcome to Keeping You Organized. Thanks, John. Hey, you know, I, I want to talk about the book today, uh, not so much just to promote the book, which I think everyone should, you know, rush to your website and wherever else you can get it. We'll talk about that later on how you can get a hold of the book, but um I think it's really neat because I think you're onto something here about getting organized. And, uh, you know, we've done tons and tons of podcasts on getting organized, but I think you might have something a little bit different here. So I'm kind of excited to talk about that today. You ready to do that? I am. Thanks. Awesome. Well, let's t- tell us kind of the backstory on what uh, got you to write this book anyway. So it's my second book. I wrote a book um, about eight years ago, and um, it was sort of in a different field. And um, I wanted to help more people. That's really what it comes down to. You know, I live outside of Philadelphia and I work with clients five to seven days a week, but I know that there are other people that read my blog and um, that read other people, other organizers' blogs that watch this podcast, you know, that are always looking for ways to work and to get organized. And so the book was really the next the next thing that I could offer, you know, it's a it's a bite sized bit of wisdom to get people off of their couch and starting to um, get them to get results. Well, I know it has you have a system here and we're going to kind of uh, maybe go over the steps, maybe from a high level. And uh, but, you know, there are a lot of systems out there. What makes your system maybe just a little bit different? You're totally right. You know, we work with clients all the time and we'll walk in and there's sometimes there are, there's no less than 10 or 15 organizing books sitting in their clutter. And I got to noticing this and I got to seeing this thinking, wait a minute, if I'm going to write another book, it really has to be something different. It ha- I don't want people to buy this book and throw it in the pile, right? Mm-hmm. I, so as I was putting together my concept, I really thought about what we've been doing with clients for the past 13 years. That's how long I've been organizing, mm. John, 13. So um, my team and I, you know, we looked at what we actually do with clients. And I realized, in fact, one woman said to me, one of my clients said to me, I have read every organizing book out there. I have become an expert on organizing, but my house is still cluttered and I need you. Mm. And that's when the light bulb went off for me that you can know a lot about organizing, but if you never actually start, if you never actually do the work, you're not going to get a different result. You're still going to be sitting in clutter. So my first step in the sort and succeed. So S O R T stands for four of the steps. And then I want you to succeed. Okay. And so the first and the last step are really different from um, what other people have maybe in their systems. Okay. Well, great. I love all the systems. You know, I use all of the systems, um, but I really want people to get started. Great. Well, yeah. So let's get started with that. Let's go to uh, your your first step. And uh, so are we going to use the SORT acronym or how's that going to work out? Yeah. So the START, I'm sorry, the S stands for START. Okay. And so there's two pieces to that. One is to get started. And two is I ask people to write down their organizing goal or their organizing project. So how many times, you know, have you, I mean, John, you and I have both done it and we're in the biz, right? But we might start out organizing, say the kitchen counter today. And all of a sudden we're standing in front of the linen closet sometime later going, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know. So by writing down your actual project, it's another way to kind of keep yourself anchored in the project so that you can stay and finish the work when you're intending to finish the work. It's another way to keep you on track. All right, let's give me an example of what that might look like on paper. You're talking about 
a sentence or three sentences yeah. or how, how does that come out? Yeah, exactly. Very short. So uh, your, your, right, your written goal might be, I'm just going to organize the kitchen counter, period, right? Or I'm just going to go through the top rack of my closet today. And the point is, I don't want people spending their entire day organizing, 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 going on to the next thing and the next thing and feeling like they really haven't gotten anything done. Mm -hmm. I want them to be able to say, to go through all five steps, to be able to say, my goal was to organize just the kitchen counter. I did it. You know, we'll go through the other steps, but then the last step is to succeed and celebrate. And sometimes the celebration is, yay, I did it. You know, I can go play with my kids for the afternoon and I don't have to feel guilty. Like I've actually accomplished what I meant to do today. Right. And I think a lot of people, you know, we talk a lot about goal setting and various podcasts here, and it gives you kind of the definition of success. You know, you're talking about sort and succeed. You, you have the definition, you know what it looks like when it's done. So I think that's a real important step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we actually, even though the, the fifth step is succeed and celebrate, we actually talk to people about what their success and what their celebration is going to be before we start the project. So sometimes it's going to be something very simple, like, you know, I'm going to enjoy my glass of wine in front of my TV show tonight, guilt free, mm -hmm. or it can be, I'm going to take my kids to the park, you know, guilt free. I'm going to reward myself maybe with a little organizing tool that I've had my eye on, but I wasn't going to buy it until I, you know, did something um, and, and got through my goals. So it can be something that you purchase, but more often than not, it's not something you purchase. Right. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break here. And when we come back, we're only on the S of sort. Uh, and then the other fifth piece, we got we to cover this stuff. So uh, we'll be right back in just a moment. We're with Darla DeMauro from heartworkorg.com talking about sort and succeed. And we'll be right back. Now there's a place just for you. Life can be busy, and you still have to keep it all together. That's why you like to be organized and in control. Introducing MyOrganize.life, a special place where you can get ideas and solutions to organize what's important to you. Your important papers, your important decisions, your important life events. We show you the ideas and products to stay organized in your life. See what's new. Stop by and say hello. Visit us at any time at www.myorganize.life. It's just for you. Myorganize.life by Smead. Find us at www.myorganize.life. Myorganize.life. We're back now on Keeping You Organized, talking about Sort and Succeed. It is a book by Darla DeMauro, professional organizer out of the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area. Is that correct, Darla? Yes, it is. Awesome. And um, uh, this, this is a system. It's got five steps. We talked about starting, which is the S of sort. Uh, and now we need to move on a little bit and find out what that second step is. So the O stands for organizing into groups or organizing into categories. And um, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, you know, my, my third grader can do it. You know, a three-year-old loves to sort. So uh, or organize into groups. And so um, depending on your project, it can be um, uh, anything from, you know, if you're in your closet, we can be talking about organizing shirts versus pants versus accessories, mm -hmm. right? There is no organizing police. You cannot organize into groups wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Everyone's so, got their own definition. And I think, too, this absolutely. works well for not only physical stuff, but like if you're doing a project, like project management, you you want to have those uh, major areas, right? I mean, it's, it's part of the subdivision process. Right. And I'll give you just a little peek. The next book in the Sort and Succeed series is about money. Mm. So you can even organize your money so that, you know, organize it into to groups so that you have a better idea what you have coming in, what you have going out, and you never have to do a budget. Right. Oh, that's great. So oh, that's that's great. just a little preview. But certainly when we're talking about stuff, you know, if you're in your kitchen, it's it might be dishes versus food. I mean, right. just that simple of a division can help people get organized. Right. And take a little bit of the overwhelm because, you know, you, you're not dealing with everything. You're dealing with 
little chunks. Right. All right. Let's go on now to uh, the third step. Right. So I've packed a lot in the third step, I'll be honest, but it's um, reduce release and reset. And, okay. and I packed them all together because we're often doing this all sort of at the same point in the project. So sometimes um, uh, it's hard to decide what to reduce and release, but I always use the black shirt, the black t-shirt example. So if I go into anybody's closet, you know, I'm likely to find many, many black t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And uh, just because that's a lot, what a lot of people wear. Mm -hmm. um, but the interesting thing is if I hold up one black t-shirt, it's very hard for somebody to, to say, yes, I'm going to keep that or no, I'm going to keep, I'm going to let it go. But if we get all 20 or 30 black t-shirts together, then most people that I work with can go down the line very easily and say, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Right because they're not working in an absence of information. Now they have all the information, they can decide you know, which one fits best, which one doesn't fit best. And releasing or reducing is a whole lot easier with, by having all of that information right there. Right, and I know in the case of t-shirts too, when you got them all out there, and again, this is kind of like you've organized it into black t-shirts, now you're taking it even farther. Ones I wear and ones I don't. Right. Or, and, and people can usually say, well, I haven't really worn that one for a while. Right. right. So you take that down. Usually try to say, you know, get rid of a certain percentage of, re I mean, repeat items like that. Or what, what do you, what's your goal kind of as the organizer to help the customer do? That is a great question. The, the goal is really to fit the space. Okay. So somebody who lives in a smaller space has more constraints. Somebody who lives in a larger space or has a huge walk-in closet with plenty of places to put things, well, if they want to keep more things, then they physically can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so great. Everybody's got a different goal. Everybody's got a different space. All right. Are we ready to move on to the T now? I think so. Okay. So the T is, um, I, it's interesting because a lot of people will call me and they say, I just want it organized and pretty. <laughs> well, the T is where we make things pretty. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm if that's important to you. Um, but it's also, I put the T in there, the, the tweaking, right? Hmm. So um, you might get organized, but we might use shoe boxes, literal cardboard shoe boxes to get you organized. Well, once we know how you need to store things and what you've got to store, then you go out and you buy the new bins to replace mm -hmm. the ugly shoe boxes, right? You don't have to do that before you try and get organized. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. Right. Um, you can get to the Pinterest pretty if you want. You don't have to. Um, but that's not step one. It's step four. Right. It could actually go into step one, though. If your goal was not only to get organized, but to get organized so it looks like Pinterest, at least you've set that out so that you, when you get to this this part of the goal, now is when you do the, you know, the the uh, tweaking for the prettiness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you know that, you know, uh, you know some people will say to me, look, I'm very high aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Great. Good to know that up front. That doesn't mean we skip right to making it pretty. We have to go through and handle things and organize into groups so that we know what size bins we're going to we're going to purchase. Right. Um, you know, that's a pretty, pretty common thing that I run into is people go buy really pretty organizing tools and then find out they've bought too few right. or too many or the wrong size. Yes, yes. OK, are we ready to move on to the fifth and final step? Right. So that's succeeding and celebrating. And oh. I actually had one client say, honey, it's not celebrating, it's rejoicing. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so that is, I think, a, you know, a key for people that feel like they're always organizing. You know, they, they just feel like, oh, I never, I never finish organizing. Well, I want you to put a cap on that project. And I want you to um, say, yep, I finished organizing the closet. Mm. Take a break move on to the next project the next time. It gives you momentum yeah. and it also gives you a way to celebrate either just by yourself or sometimes it's with, with friends or family. If you have no other way to celebrate, I would call somebody, like call your sister, call your BFF and say, guess what I did today, na na na. <laughs> you know, um, that's, that can be a celebration, just having that recognition, you know, a little pat on the back. Who's right. gonna give that to you? Probably nobody except me and our Facebook group. You know, you, um, you know we've, we've got people around us who care about organizing, but mostly 
you know, people are doing their own thing. So take time to celebrate because right. that's not just going to happen. Awesome. Well, Darla, these are great tips. I'm going to hold the book up again. And why don't you let us know um, how people can get a hold of the book uh, and also give out your website and, and talk about your business a little bit. What kind of clients are you working with when you're not writing books? Yeah. So the website is, you had it right, it's heartworkorg.com. And you can go there and purchase it directly in ebook form or in paperback, like you have there, John. Mm -hmm. It's also available on Amazon, BN.com, um, Nook, wherever you're going to buy a book, it's out there. Awesome. It's um, international distribution. I've got people all over the world purchasing it. So that's kind of fun. Awesome. Now, are they going to make a full length feature movie about it? Oh, I hope so. Who should we get to play me, John? I think you should play you. <laughs> I think that's the only the, uh, that would be the ultimate casting, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not not Sandra Bullock or uh... no, no, I guess not. But uh, well, Darla, this has been great. Uh, we will also include links in the show notes at smeed.com slash podcast for anyone that is interested in finding the book. Uh, of course, we're going to have you back on again because uh, we uh, we love talking to you. I love talking to you. It's it's great to get the word out. Um, the more tips, the better out there for everybody. You bet. All right, folks, there you have it. Sort and succeed. You know how to do it. You know the five steps. If you can't quite remember them, get the book and uh, take that first step of just setting the goal and making it happen. And then uh, make it a goal to come back to our next episode of Keeping You Organized. <laughs>